You should be warned about the next story. It's all about swear words and it is totally uncensored. Actually, it doesn't have to be bleeped and that's thanks to some senior students at Henderson High School who've convinced hundreds of other students to sign a pact not to swear. Here's Melissa Davies. The playground at Henderson High School is filled with colourful language. Oh, sugar, flip, shivers, blast. And this is as close as you'll get to an F word. Fudge. It's thanks to a student packed not to swear. Well, here's your band. You can wear that around school. And so we will find a reminder about swearing. The initiation has only just begun, but already in just one lunch break, around half of the 900 students have signed up. A name on here is a pledge not to swear, and that means absolutely no offensive language. Racism, and I suppose, like, I'm not going to say it, you know, like, four little words. <laughs> it's kind of going to make them think a bit more creatively about how they can bring in everyday language. And because we're kind of losing grips with, like, basic English language skills, and so it's kind of like we kind of need to bring in some more descriptive words. Everyone goes, shh. <laughs> the newer, cleaner language is music to the teachers' ears, who say swearing and bad behaviour leads to other problems in class. Normally it's about 20% of the referrals to deans and myself for discipline is actually sort of for bad language and for inappropriate language, not just foul language, but put-down language and that type of thing. But since the pledge card came in, there hasn't been one referral for bad language, not one. The Dare Not To Swear campaign has cost $1,000, though. The Board of Trustees approved the payment to buy these wristbands, which remind students of their promise. It's good, because I do, like, you do think about it. Like, you look at the band and you think, yep, OK, I know that you're there, I'm sorry. But this is not a pact for punishment. The senior students who organised it say it's about encouraging people to be aware of swear words. Yeah, we're not taking the bands off people or I'm not thinking oh no I must take my band off and it's just like I said awareness it's not a really strict regime or anything. It's keeping things in a positive light not making students feel negative about themselves. Are you going to sign up to the Dare Not To Swear please? Um, I think I might. Eh? I swear a lot and I could pledge not to swear would probably be a good idea. But even the prefects admit nobody's perfect. Have you had any slips? Yes <laughs> unfortunately but we, we have had a tough week. <laughs> I can't say I haven't to be, to be completely honest. The hope now is that the lighter language will feed out into the community of West Auckland. I think this is a good good thing for the school as well as West Auckland. <laughs> You're changing the ways of the Westie. Yeah. <laughs> Which will be very difficult, but, you know, we'll start, start small. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Davies reporting.